So what I call presence, there are other words for it, such as awareness, is a state of consciousness that transcends thinking. You may have noticed that most of the time you have a voice in your head that never stops speaking. And what I call the voice in the head are your habitual thought processes. Uh, for many people, the voice in the head, which is the self-talk, uh, is not, is predominantly uh, unpleasant because for many people the self-talk tends to be uh, to a large extent negative. In fact, there are millions of people in this world who are tortured by their own minds, by the self-talk in the head, which of course is the conditioning of their minds. But they don't even know that because they are so identified with the voice in the head that there's no space beyond from where they can realize that there is a voice in the head because when they identified with the voice in the head, they are the voice in the head. Presence is the arising of a dimension of consciousness from where you can become aware that there is the voice in the head. That awareness is above thinking. It's a space of consciousness where you can be the observer of your own mind, the awareness behind the thought processes. And for human beings to discover that dimension within themselves is extraordinarily important. It is, in fact, as I see it, the next step in the evolution of humanity to discover that unconditioned dimension of consciousness within themselves. And that's an amazing shift. The problems that we are facing, most of the problems, if not all the problems we are facing as a species, are actually generated by our own minds. Uh, so the, all the problems are not problems of natural disaster or anything except disasters that were created by humans. So there is a strong element of, uh, one could almost say, insanity or dysfunction in what I call the old consciousness, the normal human consciousness. It has produced an enormous amount of suffering quite unnecessarily. And already the ancient teachers have pointed to that. The Buddha said the human condition is one of suffering. And Jesus said what we need is to find the kingdom of heaven within. We need salvation. And only now are many, many humans on the planet, still a minority, but far more than ever before, are ready to enter that new state of consciousness and make presence part of their lives so that there is a shift, a, for most people a gradual shift, for some a few people a radical sudden shift, from the state of consciousness of being identified with the continuous stream of thinking, a lot of it dysfunctional, as I said, the shift from that to discovering the possibility and the reality of another dimension of consciousness within you that is the space of presence or awareness. And from there you can observe your own thought processes and you're no longer trapped, completely identified in the conditioned mind. That's about the most important thing in your life to undergo that shift. So the arising of presence is something that needs to happen now. Humans are ready for it. You are ready for it. And as this gradually, this new, new state of consciousness arises in you, you will begin to notice changes in the way in which you 
react to events in your life, changes in the way in which you relate to other people, and they're all changes for the better. You will find, for example, that situations that before caused you a considerable amount of pain or suffering uh, no longer have the power to cause you that pain or suffering. You become aware that the unhappiness in your life to a large extent is actually due to the thought processes in your mind rather than the actual situation. So you feel unhappy because not in majority of cases, not about the situation you find yourself in, but about what your mind is telling you about the situation.